Hi guys, and welcome back to Get The Gloss. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about hangover makeup. It's that time of year, um, or anti-fatigue makeup. Either you're hungover, you're really tired, there's so much going on. Um, it's Christmas, I've done hardly any Christmas shopping. <laughs> anyway, it all shows on your skin. And um, yes, I'm gonna tell you my tricks of what I do not saying it's the holy grail, but what I do, if I'm either hungover, yes, I am hungover occasionally, and, or if, I, um, if I'm just really, really tired. Same kind of stuff, really. Okay, so first of all, I would, if I hardly had any sleep or something, I would cleanse my face properly. I would use a hot cloth cleanser. By that, I mean like a sort of a balm that you massage into your skin. Um, I'm loving this one at the moment, Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm from Sunday Riley. You massage it into your skin, dry skin, and then use a muslin cloth, soak it in hot water, press it on your face, like so, feels lovely, and then like wipe away any debris from the night before. Yes, this hot cloth sort of process will get the blood circulating, give you a bit of a glow. Um, I've got no makeup on at the moment, you can probably tell, apart from a bit of mascara. Um, I had to wear some mascara for you, otherwise I just look like a boiled egg. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, so, uh, if I'm feeling like I need an extra boost, I would use a exfoliator. This is one of my favourites, it's by Aurelia, it's called Refine and Polish Miracle Balm. It contains lots of botanicals isn't scratchy on the skin, is kind to the skin. I love this product, it leaves your skin really glowy. Okay, then I would probably use, um, well I definitely would use a moisturizer. I'm going to use Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Cream. Now it has a sister, an older sister I would say, which is Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, I think it's called, um, and it's a, a hugely popular product. I'm gonna apply this while I'm talking to you. It's a hugely popular product. Um, I think there's something like one every sold every two seconds in the world or something. Now this version though is for drier skin. Um, drier and dry combination skin, which is something that's quite overlooked. It's skin, it's a little bit like mine at the moment, which is dry, but also a bit spotty. Um, so, yeah, I apologise if you can see spots and things, I've had one there, all sorts. But anyway, I'm going to show you how I cover them up. This is the real deal, guys. This is the real deal. Right. Okay, and I'm going to show you also what I do quickly, because I don't apply makeup for hours on end. I can't be bothered. I haven't got time. I'm a mum. I work. Um, I've got, I exercise, I've got too much on, too many things to fit in. I cannot be spending an hour on my makeup. I spend pff, literally five minutes, 10 minutes max, most mornings. Um, sorry, right, what I'm using here is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum. I'm a big fan of Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. And this is the eye potion. Uh, I love it. It's really great. It's very light, so it doesn't feel greasy on the eyes, but at the same time, it feels like it's injecting a lot of moisture into this area. Um, and I need that. I'm 39, I'm about to be 40. I'm ramping up my skincare regime. As of now, guys, right. Okay, so then, this I'm going to use, it is called Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, I put it on my hand. That's a little trick I learned from Mary Greenwell. Okay, so I literally apply it with my fingers, kind of everywhere. Um, as I said, I haven't really got time. I haven't got time for brushes. <laughs> I haven't got time for anything. So I need things that are quick, fast tricks that actually really, really work. Um, I haven't got time for painting tiny things on, I haven't got time for loads and loads of layers, all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, I like this foundation because it's light, it gives a little bit of coverage. Um, you can still see your skin through it, so you can still see a bit of a glow. Um, that's why I like it. 
Next up, this is also from Charlotte Tilbury. Now I'm not saying you have to use things in the same line, but this is very good. It's called the Retoucher Conceal and Treat Stick, and this one is in number two. So I apply it under the eyes, like so. Um, Mary Greenwell, makeup artist, has taught me not to be scared of applying quite a lot of product. I apply it in places that are a bit red. So I apply it here, I would apply it on the chin, I would apply it under the other eye. Uh, and then I would rub in. So around the nose, yeah, like I said, where it gets a bit red. Chin area also gets a bit red. Other side of the nose, sorry, that's getting in the way. Um, down here, these bits here, sometimes need a bit of a lift. And under the eyes. Under the eyes and on top of the eyes, actually, because I sort of feel that whole eye area needs to be even before you apply uh, makeup or other, you know, colours. Okay. So that's that. Um, right. Now for the colours. Now I'm a big fan of Becca makeup and I absolutely love this product. It is called Afterglow, um, the Afterglow palette and it contains some of their sort of cult products. Um, I love it because um, I'm a big fan of kind of neutral colours and things that make you glow and make you look like you were born glowy. Um, but actually before I apply that I'm actually going to apply some bronzer. I like this product. It is from Kiko, which is a great, very inexpensive brand, but brilliant quality products. Um, it's called Perfecting Bronzer, and this one's in light to medium. I've used it loads, as you can see, and I like it because it's not shimmery. I just find some bronzers can be super shimmery um, and can sort of make you look metallic, which is not something uh, I think some people think that that's the way we should look, but have you ever seen metallic looking skin? No, you, I, th I sort of think we need to steer a little bit clear of shimmer. Right, so I apply that basically where the sun would hit your face. Forehead, nose, cheekbones, chin. Yeah, uh, and a bit over the eyes, because otherwise you get left with sort of white patches around your eyes. Um, and then, to this palette. I'm going to use this colour here, which is a pinky colour. Um, I'm going to tap it a bit on my hand so that yeah, it doesn't come out in one big splurge. Actually, I'm going to mix it a bit with this um, bronzy colour. Let me see what they're called. They're called Wild Honey and Flower Child is the pinkish one. Um, knock a bit off on my hand. Yeah, so then on the apples of the cheeks, I'm going to apply that. Just a bit, not too much, otherwise you can look ridiculously pink. Hopefully I don't look too pink. A um, little bit up here, just so your cheeks don't sort of like stick out like sore thumbs. Um, another product I love though when it comes to blushes, which is also super inexpensive, is the Bourjois Cream Blushes. This is in Nude Velvet. Love it. Uh, it's a beautiful peachy shade. Um, I love cream blushes. I'm going to apply a bit. I, should, I don't really need it, but I'm going to. Um, I love cream blushes because they... I might apply a bit to my lips. Um, they sink into your skin and they look like part of your skin. Which I think is really important because sometimes powders, I feel, can look very much like makeup on your skin. And I like things to look like they're part of your skin. Okay. Next. Oh, and another fab bronzer, which doesn't have too much shimmer, is this gorgeous one from uh, Chanel. It's part of the Le Beige collection and this is called Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. Gorgeous. It's the one Giselle advertised in all the ads. Um, yeah. So um, then I definitely apply some mascara and I've got a bit on like I said um, to open up the eyes because if you're a bit hungover you're going to need some eye help, because it's the area that shows lack of sleep, dehydration, etc. the most. So a bit of mascara, 
Huge fan of this. It is Lancome's Hypnose Mascara, one of my faves. Um, I've loved it since it, fir it first came out. Um, just think it gives long lashes, not too clogging. Um, and I haven't got time to use an eyelash comb, so I need one that just does everything in one. Love that. And I always use black. Um, another product for the eyes, um, I'm afraid another Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so I'm not afraid, but I do use it a lot. Um, this one, apologies, I'm going to write the name below, but this is um, a cream coloured eye pencil. And it's for going on the inner corners of the eye, inner rims of the eye. So, you apply it like so, on the inner rim. I don't know if you can see that. And it just opens up your eyes. Uh, if you've ha kind of got pinkness on the inside of your eyes, or they look puffy, it can open them up, make them look brighter. I think it's a brilliant trick. Don't go for white here. White is not a natural colour on the inside of your eye. This creamy colour is. Very clever. Okay, um, next I'll probably just groom the eyebrows. The old eyebrows, there we go. This is an hourglass pencil, um, which has a great brush at one end, and then a chiselled um, a chiselled uh, tip at the other. Um, and it's the perfect consistency for eyebrows because it doesn't, um, it comes out very sort of, it's very hard, so it doesn't create a big splodge on your eyebrow. Uh, you can feather it. Uh, it's great. It's very precise. Um, now this one is in soft brunette, because I don't need a really, really dark shade. Okay, next up. Because uh, I'm going for sort of nudie colours, like natural colours, so, um, you don't want to look too forced if you're hungover or really tired. Um, then, I love this palette, it is called Amber Times Nine. Uh, it's from MAC. As you can see, it is nine beautiful neutral shades that can enhance your eyes. I absolutely love this palette. So I'm probably just going to use something very natural. I'm going to use this colour here um, for an eyeshadow base. Yeah, just, just literally to add a hint of sort of shadow. Um, create a great base. And then if you want to add a bit more, I would probably add, I'm going to add this sort of nudie shade, sort of sandy colour here. Um, Everyone's eyes are different, but if you're very, very tired, I would probably stay away of putting uh, colour under the eyes. I mean, obviously, it looks fab if you um, are going out, want a rock chick kind of look, but if you want something a bit more natural, if you want to open the eyes out, you sort of got to go above and out. Um, when I put eyeshadow under my eyes, it can end up coming down and down and down throughout the day and I end up looking tireder. So that's not what you want. You want to look brighter, fresher. Um, having said that, some eyes do benefit from a little bit of colour just under, which sort of opens eyes up a bit. Um, but if you're very tired and have puffy eyes, I would avoid going on the inner rims with anything dark. Save that for like hot night out somewhere. Okay, right, what's next? Um, what have I not used? Okay, um, back to the Becca palette. If you want to add a bit more glow, um, I would use a sort of highlighting colour. Um, this here on the edge, this very pale colour, is called Moonstone. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that on my brush. This brush is a Giorgio Armani brush, by the way. Um, and I would just add it here, can you see? I would just add it here as a bit of a glow on the cheeks, like that. And then, lips. Uh, I'm going to use Clarins Nude Fair Lip Liner Pencil. Uh, I think I've said it before, but I'm not blessed with a really, really big Kim Kardashian lips. I wish. 
Uh, but you can enhance them slightly, I think, by using a nude lip pencil. Uh, there you go. Just gives your lips a little bit of fullness um, without looking like a line, like a heavy line. Um, and then if you're a bit tired, a bit hungover, you probably need a little pop of colour on your lips. Now, I'm going to use this Clarins Eclat Minute um, Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. This is a new shade, I believe, and it's in 07. It's like a sort of a rose shade. Uh, here you go. And it's very light, it's like a lip gloss, but it's sort of lip balm slash gloss. Uh, in a rosy, dusty rosy pink that I would say suits most people. Right, what else would I use? Um, I think that's probably it. Oh yeah, last but by no means least, concealer. Now, I use sort of like concealer for spots and things actually last, because if you're using brushes all over your face and things, if you put concealer on first, you're then gonna wipe it off. So I would use it last. I'm a big fan of Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. I've spoken about it before. It contains a couple of colors. I'm just gonna literally use my fingers to sort of cover up any blemishes. Um, now, if you want, you can then set that uh, with a powder uh, because I think sometimes concealer needs to be set a bit so it doesn't move around your face. So I've just covered up a few sort of existing spots and things. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, basically that's my final look. Um, hopefully I look a little bit better from when you saw me right at the beginning of the vlog. And I'd love to hear all your tips. All your things that you rely on when you're hungover, really tired, your sort of go-to product, because I love hearing about these products from you guys. Um, and if you ask me anything below, I will reply. And don't forget to subscribe to Get The Gloss TV. Um, actually, one last product that I've seen here, which is very good, which I didn't use under the eyes, is um, Bourjois Healthy Mix Correcting Concealer. Very good, inexpensive. Um, radiance and anti-fatigue. It's great for under the eyes, around the nose, red areas, for making you look a bit more awake. Love it. We all need a bit of help. Um, thank God for makeup. That's what I say. Uh, see you next time. Bye.